So this might be one of the least exciting videos that you see all week in Wargaming or possibly a longer time. This is me just taking some troops off the base in order to rebase them up for ADLG Renaissance. And um, what I've got here, I've just got a little plastic box that some old or old DBX based, uh, based um, perhaps for Fogar actually, on 40 by 20 cardboard with mag base on the bottom. You guys have been stuck in. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of water in the bottom there and I've just left them overnight. I think I probably did this about, ooh, probably about six o'clock yesterday evening. It's about midday today. So these have been sat there for 18 hours and the figures just literally lift off the base. You can um, pick the base up, just pull them off. There's no effort required at all. The glue doesn't seem to stick. Um, these were done with, I think, PVA glue and sand originally very very solid when they started but you just soak them in anything with PVA glue you just soak it in water up to the ankles for a, um, for a day or so and then it just all comes off as easy as you like really it's just you just tiny little bit of clearing out but what you're going to do you're going to cover these bases with sand again so you don't need to completely clear up the bottom of the base that will all disappear in the mush when you when you do the rebasing and there you go it's the easiest thing in the world just to to shave these guys off and then what we're going to do is we're going to leave all these guys um, just to sort of dry out for another you know day or so, well half a day till they're actually dry and then i'll we'll start rebasing them properly but it's just as quick and simple as that this means war so the next bit of rocket science in, um, in rescuing these figures this is two bits of Magna base, which just sort of soaked off the bottom of some of the bases. Um, it doesn't actually need to be that well um, cleaned up or anything, so I'm going to glue them. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to cut them down slightly because these were 40 by 20s and um, it doesn't need to be wildly accurate. Just make them a smidge smaller. And this is a ADLG Renaissance infantry base. It's an 80 by 20 2 mil MDF base from Pendragon. Um, they're mini bits range, but obviously other base companies are available. And one of their dice squares as well. Um, this is, I think, a 10 mil dice square. I'll just grab a ruler and sanity check that for you. Um, yeah, it's a one centimeter dice square. I find maybe it's just advancing age, but one centimeter square dice are big enough to see and pick up and turn around. You can, of course, use smaller ones. But what we're just going to quickly do is grab these. They've still got a little bit of stick on it. Use some PVA glue. I always use wood glue because it's just about as good as you can get. I'm going to drop one bit on there and just a smidge on this one to glue it in just to give this big old base some Magna Base stuff and make sure I'm not wasting that and just leave that to um, to dry for a little bit. This means and let's base some of these little guys up. So, again, this is <laughs> this barely feels worth showing off, really. So, a bit of wood glue again. What we got? We got this 80 by 40 base. We got the dice marker, which was going to be at the back. And what I found, because I'm a bit of a cheapskate, is I think sort of this number of pike and shot does actually look okay. So, what I'm doing, I'm just taking some of the guys, a little bit of blob on the back, come arrange them slightly out at an angle. Um, give them some sort of width shooting outwards. Um, that guy there, that guy goes in there, shooting forwards. Another guy shooting forwards. Um, actually, let's drop him back a little bit into the corner. And um, so you've got sort of three guys in the front rank, sort of fanning out a bit. And then you can fit in another guy here. Let's help use one of the guys. Let's think, where can I find? I've got a guy who's loading here. He'll fit back in this little spot in the base as well. Um, so he'll just sit back there. That guy will sit in there, bend his legs a bit so he's straighter. And um, fit another couple of these in here. And that's got your shot wings. And let's see how many little pikemen I can fit in. Um, let's drop them in a bit of a formation. They could be a nice little gang of guys here. I wonder how many will make sense. Probably six, I suspect. Possibly even another one. Maybe 
I'll get seven or eight, who knows? That could be good. Let's stick a third one. Let's try and squeeze that guy out in the middle. Smidge. Because these are actually quite small figures. I'm not even sure what manufacturer they're from. Um, let's use him in there. Now, how does that look? That looks pretty decent, I think. There's a nice little pike and shot unit with a marker at the back as well. And you've got a nice block of um, pikemen in the middle and um, two, two shot wings on there. And that's a nice little 80 by 40 bit to go and we'll do some basing on it in a minute. This, um, this rather straightforward set of videos. I'm just carrying on with the rebasing of some of these, um, well, ADLG R infantry units, which are kind of cute. Um, you'll, you'll have seen them possibly in a video I've slipped in before this one. But again, this is super simple. This is my super simple basing method. Um, this actually was some Citadel grass. Normally it's just way too expensive, but they used to make this fantastic plastic box so this is possibly the best thing I've ever had from Games Workshop um, all the contrast paints are pretty cool but it's just exactly the right size and what I've got here is some builder's sand that I've kept put it in the air and covered for a while just to dry it out sort of sift it out any gnarly bits so there's just a little basket or whatever of builder's sand there and all I'm going to do get some of my PVA I'm using wood glue here but quite often for this I just use cheaper stuff because it, it doesn't need to be quite as thick for this and a knackered brush because you've definitely got a knackered brush everybody's got a knackered brush so what we're going to do we're going to grab one of these little infantry units here um we're going to sneak sneak them in grab some glue just kind of blob it around um the feet of the guy the brush will get in it doesn't need to be particularly scientific um because you're going to be covering it up a bit later what you're just trying to do is avoid getting it too far onto the, the men's bases, but just get it around them and um, just fill in all the gaps there. And we can tidy this up a bit later. Let's see what's happening here. In between them, you want a reasonable amount of glue because it's sort of it, it, it's building up a bit of a base once the, the stuff goes on. You're not well, very difficult to get some of these in in between bits without necessarily getting the guys but um, if there's a few bits missing in the middle we're going to be able to hide those with static grass a bit later on and nearly done now Oop. Get, let's get around the edges of it um, oop, that's a bit of a big bit and um, a bit more here nearly finished and I'm avoiding the dice frame obviously I don't want ground effect or anything in the dice frame that's just going to sit there and um, that's pretty much done. There's a little gap in the middle there. Just squeeze it in. It will sort of disappear once we get all the um, all the sand on. A few more little bits in here. Um, and that's pretty much done. You can kind of see that's just entirely, pretty much entirely covered with glue. And what we're going to do is, oh God, this is such rocket science, isn't it? We're just going to dunk it in there, swirl it around, drop a bit of that sand on it, press around the outside edges, just to get a good adhesion and yeah i'm sure you've done this before the war game is tap the war game is triple tap quadruple tap whatever it works and then whilst this, this is still wet i always find just run your finger down the edges of it that just gets the little bits where the glue has come off around the edge of the base you want them to, to clump together neatly and um and that will pretty much do and another tap there and what you've now actually got is a sand cupboard which for these guys looks pretty bland actually because they're beige as well you've got a sand colored thing but that's not the end of it we will come back to it in a minute and do a little bit more so there we go so we've got these sandy colored or well literally sandy bases the, um, the sand is stuck on the sand is actually still slightly damp. I'm not sure that really makes a lot of odds, but 
it's, it's entirely possible to do this while the sand is quite damp and this is where the real magic starts to happen and it's this stuff um, wood dye wood stain I always use rustins well oh, you yeah. know it, it lasts forever because you're not you're really using that much give it a good shake because sediment does tend to sort of settle in the bottom bottom of it and be very very careful this is a very very easy thing to knock over which I've done on many of occasion and it will really make a mess of your desk um, also you can see I've actually got the guys infantry base is sat on a piece of white paper as well or a piece of paper not directly on the desk because it does tend to sort of stain and you get a slightly bigger knackered old brush this one's maybe a little bit get, get it right in there and you can see that's got a dark stain on it and all I'm really going to do is just blob it on because it will actually run and seep right into the sand um, right into the sand and the glue you don't need to paint it on anything you just almost need to place it on there it will get right in the cracks very very easily it sort of soaks its way through um, very very quickly yeah this probably could have been a bigger brush you can see I'm being very careful I may get some on my fingers here which takes a while to get off and um, what, you've, what you've now done here with just one one coat of it just to bother you was it you've suddenly got this into a much darker and actually much more even effect now I'm going to leave this for a bit and see what one layer of wood stain actually looks like um, and then we'll see this needs to be washed out using can't be washed out using water it's sort of oil based so it needs to be done with normal um, paint thinners. This means war. So we're getting into the end zone now in this process of rebasing or simply rebasing some of my Fogar troops to ADLGR. So we've let the um, we let the wood stain dry, and what that's done that's made the base much much darker and actually much more even. Um, sand has a surprisingly sort of variegated kind of tone this is much more even but you've still got that texture of sand underneath it but because it's a dark base it kind of hides visually hides some of the the bits around the, the figures basic you can sort of see it if you're flat at an angle but once you're looking at it from above or from a you know normal wargaming angle that you might see hopefully if they're not running away it's not too difficult to see the figures bases if you really want you can infill with um, wood filler or, or something else before you glue the sand on but um, i used to do that and i've just sort of given up um, it doesn't really seem to make too much difference but but again this is too dark and too boring to really work as a base layer so what i do um, i use two different paints basically you know, these are army painter ones stone golem is a very pale gray um, skeleton bone is a very pale sand yeah, there's no specific reason to use these two but they're, they're the ones that I've just got used to and, and kind of like so let's start with a um, little bit of a shake a little bit of stone golem um, and what we're trying to do is just do a dry brush so I've got a, is that a big enough brush maybe we'll give it a go just getting some dry brushing on here and what we're just going to try and do is do some dry brushing onto onto this base um, around the edges of it not too much if you do do too much we'll cover that up with static grass at the end and um, just get it in amongst there all along the front where it's going to be visible um, a bit in the middle just shove it in this is dry brushing so if it even gets picked up on the figures it's not not the end of the world because this would do as a highlight to be honest um, and you just want to get some some extra bit of texture into this sandy base so if you can kind of see that properly maybe not um, depends how good this camera is at focusing but it just gives it a little bit of texture and then do exactly the same let's just get the stone golem out as well you're doing dry brushing you mix it you don't even need to clean the brushes really and um, just again very very light dry brush this is an even lighter um, thing to pick out some highlights just you know I can't believe I'm really showing people dry brushing rock and rolling um, this is a new thing. <laughs> surprisingly anyone can still do this given how um, ubiquitous contrast paints have gone this may become a lost skill within a generation possibly but just stick a bit in the middle there and that's kind of done so suddenly you've got something that let's compare it to to one that I've not done yet um, let's compare it to these guys hopefully you can see the difference there one's one's darker and a bit more boring one's just a bit lighter a bit more interesting and um, and then 
You'll see that in a second when we start adding some static crack. So we're almost done now and um, I'm sure you don't need me to show you how to do this but I've started so I'll finish. Let's put a bit of static grass on it again. Blob of blue, glue, knackered old brush. Let's just get these guys. Let's start with this one. And what I'd like to do is do some sort of irregular patches of glue. Oops, just missed it off screen there. Didn't quite remember what we're trying to do. Um, just put some in the corners, just a little bit through the middle in here. Don't worry about getting any in between. It's the glue that will get on the soldiers that um, will kind of be a problem. You've already done that. So maybe I just risk squeezing one in there and um, just put a few bits there. A few patches on this corner. Don't obviously go over the thing. And then this fabulous, fabulous thing from Citadel yet again, coming out to, to give good service. Nice little tray. And um, we're just dunking, dunking the guys around with um, Static grass, drift a bit in the middle, and just push it down, get it all fixed in. I'm not somebody who does the big electrical, you know, malarkey. These are tiny little figures, absolutely not needed. And um, I'm going to and um, let's just do the famous war gamers tap um, in here. guys are getting ready to be fought aren't they and um so you're starting to get you can sort of see the glue there just check where there's bits where it's not stuck properly stuck a few extra bits on give it another war game is tap and um you're pretty much pretty much there with this super groovy looking little pike and shot unit mm -hmm. 